So, the question is, where am I this week? Well, it's after the July 4th holiday, so I stayed home. I didn't really do all that much, and that is okay, because I'm okay with that. I really didn't want to be the person who was responsible for anybody having to work on the holiday, and it fell on a Saturday, so I just put off all of my shopping until Sunday, which was a better day for me anyway, because it gave me time to think things over and figure out what I needed. I did get word back on the Alivo. It looks like I'm not going to get anything in that position. I thought that I had signed up for a particular thing at a particular place, but the information that I had was not correct, or so it would seem. I actually have no way of going back and checking because they didn't send me an email, which I understand was supposed to be part of the process. I just copied down the information from when I signed up, but of course that's nowhere to be found. But at any rate, it's kind of okay. I'm really not all that disappointed. I have signed up for the FE exam. That in particular is something I'm really interested in, and I'm planning to do well and not fail at it, but I have so much else going on too, but I need to just study and make time to study and, you know, that kind of stuff. I wasn't able to set it up for a Saturday, which was what I really wanted to do, so I ended up setting it up more or less for the first time I could realistically take it, which is in July. Work probably won't like it, but they'll like it even less if I have to set it up in August. As for my plans this weekend, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing other than I'm going to meet up with Sarah and try to do something with her for a little while. I never get to see her, so I'm going to make a trip out to visit. And I'm also planning to study at least a little bit. One of my concerns I was thinking about very recently was that the test is a long test. And one of the worst things that you can do is get tired during your test. And I don't want to, you know, make it halfway through the test and then be exhausted. So I'm going to practice some of that. And just work even when I'm not necessarily at my best. Because I'm at a point where I feel like I know the material and I need to practice working under... I need to practice not making mistakes, because I know how to do it. Now I just need to do better. I've also been a little bit lonely and frustrated. That's partly why I'm going to visit. I did talk to Deja, and she recommended maybe volunteering might be an option for me because she thinks I would enjoy it. I've certainly considered it before on my own. I just don't see when I would ever have the time to do it because I feel like I'm always busy. Volunteering is for people who have, you know, time. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but it's rolling around in my head. It might come to fruition six to 10,000 months from now, but we'll just see how that goes. Mostly life is steady. I'm expecting in the next few months or so for, I mean, open enrollment starts in October. So I'm expecting to, you know, be working that season again. Other than that, I don't know exactly what's going on in life in general. I don't have any good long-term plans at this moment. Right now I'm really focused on the FE exam because any kind of long-term planning or thinking that I'm going to do is going to hinge on how that turns out. And basically all I can do is just keep my keep this ship sailing and you know just keep my head above water. I'm not rich but I'm not starving. I'm not where I want to be but I've made a lot of progress, and I need to give myself some credit for just keeping things together sometimes. It's not the best of times, just in general. So, of course, 
just making it sometimes is a major accomplishment. 